Well, Boeing's first crewed mission ended with the troubled Starliner capsule landing in the New Mexico desert, while its two test pilots remained on the International Space Station. Those two inch astronauts, rather, were scheduled to be in space for eight days, but they've now been there for 80 days and will not be returning home until next year. ABC's Zareen Shah has the details. And there's the main parachutes there on your screen. We see three out. Boeing's Starliner capsule landing in the New Mexico desert just after midnight, six hours after departing the International Space Station. Touchdown. Starliner is back on Earth. But the crew of the Trouble spacecraft was not on board. We're, we have your backs, and you've got this. Bring her back to Earth. Good luck. Butch Wilmore and Sunny Williams were scheduled to return to Earth in June, just eight days after launching. But back on June 6th, as Starliner approached the space station, NASA and Boeing identified helium leaks and issues with the spacecraft's thrusters. After weeks of testing, the decision was made to prioritize safety and return Starliner without its crew. NASA has decided that Butch and Sunny will return with Crew 9 next February. NASA says the Starliner encountered some problems during Friday's re-entry, but landed on target. Just We'd have had a model that would have predicted what we saw tonight perfectly. Yeah, it looks like an easy decision to go say we could have had a crewed flight, but we didn't have that. Boeing was not at Saturday morning's press conference, but released a statement saying, we will review the data and determine the next steps for the program. Boeing's already formed teams to look at the, the changes that need to be made for Starliner 1. Now, the astronauts will hitch a ride with Boeing's competitor, SpaceX. Its crew, Dragon spacecraft, lifting off in two weeks. That capsule scheduled to return in February. Zorin Shah, ABC News, Los Angeles.